This is what is left of a tomato hornworm. It's a uh, caterpillar that uh, type thing that likes to eat tomato plants. The, uh, it eats the leaves, it eats the tomatoes apparently. It's a real pest in, if you're uh, trying to grow tomatoes. Uh, this one was killed by the Braconid wasp laying lots and lots of eggs. More of these white little eggs on here than I can count. Dozens and dozens and dozens. Who knows? You know, I don't know. There's maybe 50, 100. I don't know how many eggs are on there. Um, but I did a video maybe a week ago uh, just showing the uh, while the caterpillar was still green and plump. Uh, but basically what happens is that the uh, eggs or larvae, I'm not sure the exact term, of the braconid wasp, they basically get laid just attached to the skin or just slightly into the skin of the tomato hornworm. And uh, as they mature and grow, they eat their way inside of the tomato hornworm. And you can see that basically all that's left of them is sort of a kind of you know floppy dried out shell so those braconid wasps have uh, taken care of this particular individual uh, uh, garden pest for me and I uh, just kind of wanted to show I've seen a lot of pictures online and and uh, my other videos uh, that showed this uh, this little nature phenomenon here um, but this was one where you know I actually uh, got a chance to see it uh, after after the uh, damage was done, so to speak, to the caterpillar here in terms of uh, in terms of him being all dried out. So I thought I would add this uh, this video on as well. So just uh, something you know, it's just cool stuff you see in the garden. Always uh, always kind of amazing to a science slash nature geek like myself to see what I discover when I come out in the morning to, uh, to harvest my vegetables. Alright, that's all for now.